When it comes to your business, it's important to make sure that you think about all liability. This is not an afterthought, this is a forethought. So in this lesson, we're gonna talk about protecting you and your business. One really important thing just to kick off with is the separation of church and state. As I said earlier, you're gonna have your personal financial life and your business life. Really important we keep them separate and to state something so simple, you are never going to be allowed to use your personal life as collateral to set up your business. It is so important to make sure that you protect your personal life so that if something happens in your business life, your personal life is not at tremendous risk outside of the obvious, which is you and your day-to-day and emotions. So again, incredibly important to think about the two as totally separate. Separate as church and state, your personal life and your business life. When it comes to your business, it's important to make sure that you think about all liability. This is not an afterthought, this is a forethought. So think about what type of insurance your business will need, things like workers' compensation. But then you'll have to think about other types of liability. Do you need DNO insurance or ENO insurance? Those are specific to certain types of businesses. Are there other liabilities that you need to protect for? The best way to think about this is to consult an expert, think about somebody else that runs a business that is similar to yours that is ahead of you, and ask them, just like everything else, You want to make sure that you get at least two opinions about what type of insurance does our business need to protect ourselves from tremendous liability. Finally, if you have physical locations, obviously you're going to have to think about things like renter's insurance or property insurance. Let's say you run a physical business and somebody comes into your store and falls down and gets hurt. You want to make sure that your business is protected if they build a claim against you and your business to make sure that one, your personal life is totally separate, and secondly, that it doesn't make the business file for bankruptcy. Businesses of all shapes and sizes, no matter where they're located, need different types of insurance, and so it's critical for you to figure out for your specific business what you need to be protected. Again, consult not one, but two separate experts, compare notes on them, and if you need a third opinion, get one before you start to buy insurance. There are so many different things that you need to think about when it comes to your business. So again, if you rent a physical space, what if there's a storm? You need to think about, again, renter's insurance. You need to think about liability. What if all of a sudden uh, somebody gets sick from something that you've sold them? You have to make sure that you've thought about those types of insurances that you need. Every business is different, whether you have a digital business or physical business or both. There are many different types of insurance that you may need, so it's critical to make sure you find an insurance broker and find out what is specific to your business. And finally, keep it simple. Find two or three people that are in the similar type of business that you are and ask them who are ahead of you what they bought and what they needed to protect themselves. So here's your action item for this module. Do not procrastinate. This is not an afterthought. As a certified financial planner, step one of any financial plan, whether it comes to your personal life or your business life, is to make sure that you protect that entity from catastrophe. How do you do that? Well, it's really simple. It's insurance. As unsexy and as boring as insurance is, insurance is a vital component to any financial plan. For your business, step one should be thinking about what insurance do we need to provide ourselves protection from something catastrophic happening. Brokers come in all shapes and sizes. Find a local broker, a local business insurance broker who can get on a phone call with you or ideally meet you face-to-face. Take two or three of those meetings, find out the appropriate business that you need. And from there, remember to negotiate. You can negotiate on your insurance bill and you can also negotiate yearly. So once you set it up and get it in place, remember that each year you can come back and actually find out if you can get better rates on your insurance. The Founder Mission is to help you create an ass-kicking business and help you learn straight from the mouths of world-class founders. Get your free printed edition of Founder Magazine featuring Sir Richard Branson. Just cover shipping and handling at founder.com forward slash Branson.